Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see the custom white SM Battle Reports Nurgle Army, which we have finished for them just recently. This army has been completed by Simon, one of the artists here at Siege, and there are loads of great models in this force. So stick around, we'll be back in a second, and you can check out all these models in their epic greatness. See you in a sec. Hey guys, so there's no better place to start off with looking at this great army uh, without the main man himself and the two other characters from this force. Uh, obviously we've got Mortarion now. His wings are uh, blue tacked in place at the moment purely because Nick is heading to the studio today to pick up uh, the army and he's travelling back to Gibraltar so we don't want him obviously to damage the model in transit so they can be glued once he obviously arrives back in, uh, back in Gibraltar. So if you do see a wing move or wobble then that's the reason why. The other two characters, as you can see, got a Plague Caster and you've also got a Lord of Contagion. So we're going to just dive in and have a look at these now. We'll pull forward the uh, Lord of Contagion first of all and get into that to focus for you. So you can see Simon's gone in and done a really, really cool job on this uh, this custom scheme that the guys at uh, SM Battle Reports have asked us to sort of execute for them. Really nice sort of uh, complementary colours, the purple cloth and stuff like that on this really cool white armour uh, with blue spot highlights and bits and colours and sort of contrast. Um, it's actually a colour scheme that uh, Steve uh, saw an image of that he really liked and wanted us to sort of do an army uh, to match that kind of thing, that sort of scheme and style. So as you can see here, you've got Lord of Contagion, probably really one of my favourite models from the Dark Imperium box set on the, on the Nurgle side. Uh, loads of detail on him and some really, really cool sort of smoke effects and things like that, which are really nice. As you can see, multiple highlighting there on all the different areas of detail work and, and obviously loads of contrast added as well to give it that real nurgly, horrible looking uh, feel that we wanted to uh, sort of emulate on the uh, on the Army 4, Steve. So that's the uh, Lord Contagion. Uh, next up, we're going to have a look at the Playcaster. As you can see, just gets to focus for you. He's obviously using some ridiculously disgusting power, as you can see there. So there's some really nice greens, blues and yellows and obviously white in there just to show that sort of uh, real sort of horrible sort of uh, plague power that he's using and uh, wielding his sort of like a, a, a sort of crozier's kind of thing aloft which is uh, is quite funny or this sort of staff thing I say crozier's but staff thing all these guts hanging out there and lots of gloss effect have been done on there to really make them look putrefied and really sort of wet as well uh, and again really love this model it's a uh, really really cool different aspects of detail in him as well and a lot of bit of texture there on the uh, pouch of the uh, holster as well as you can see there uh, so that's the uh, plague caster now I'm going to move him forward so you can have a look and I'm actually going to get this to focus a bit better for you on, on Mortarion. Um, I, I'll pick him up really gently because the wings as I said are blue tacked in place and I don't want to, uh, to them to fall off while I'm videoing it. But uh, if we just go zoom in here so you can see loads of detail work. The model is amazing as I'm sure a lot of you guys know from, from having it in your hands. Uh, but it's absolutely dripping with detail and uh, dripping is definitely the right word or pun for this model and for this faction. Uh, but as you can see here, all the different cool areas of details. I'm just going to lift him really gently so you can see the little funny nurglings that are there. There are There is one that's not in shot at the moment that is obviously going to be glued on once it arrives to Gibraltar. But I just wanted to sort of show the main model for you guys. As you can see here, really cool uh, colourway, obviously with the white armour with areas of green, blue, uh, yellow and, and obviously the pus side of things. And obviously you've got the, the purple robes which are all across this whole entire army as you can see here really cool model so you're going to put it down and just uh, just sort of zoom out so you can have a look at it and I'll spin it around uh, as you can see there all the areas of highlighting and contrast applied and we're just going to move around the back here this section is loose guys it's not it's just placed there for the purposes of the video uh, but as you can see here just get that to refocus for you guys uh, as you can see all the different areas of highlighting as well which uh, have been done on the model uh, across all the different areas of skin cloth and uh, metal work uh, and the areas of pus that have been added as well to the uh, to the model so just going to rotate him around so again you can see it on the wings as well he's uh simon's gone in and done quite a nice effect on sort of different boils and things like that where pus is obviously dripping out so just get that to zoom out a little bit for you guys uh so as you can see there that's morty and he's uh disgusting self uh great model done really well here by simon at the studio and uh he's going to be off to uh, gibraltar today with nick so stick around we've got all the troops to come we've got all the elites the um, infamous death shroud terminators that are going to be coming up shortly uh i hope you like the next section of the video guys and uh, we'll be back very very soon just with the uh, next section Hey guys, so here are all the troops from the army. There's 21 Plague Marines. These are all the plastic uh, Dark Imperium Plague Marines that you can see in front of you. Uh, let's pull forward a few. So we'll just start off with one of the champions, just get him in focus so you guys can have a look at him. Again, really cool models. Um, we've actually converted it slightly and put a plasma on this uh, on this champion as per the request of Steve and Nick and the guys at SN. Again, you can see the uh, consistency throughout the force is exactly the same model for model. So you can literally mix and match your models all over the force with no issues or worries about quality or consistency. Uh, 
Uh, again, as you can see, all the metals are all highlighted, all the detail works, all the little spots of colour on the tentacles, uh, little areas of sort of transitions of colour on the cloth and sort of contrast to really give it a bit of depth, uh, which is really nice. You've got the chain mail there between the legs as well, was all highlighted. The skin growth on the back of the uh, on the back of the backpack as well, all sort of picked out. The tongue and the teeth and the eye all highlighted and picked out. Uh, again, loads and loads and loads of detail on these models, uh, and they are really, really great to work with. Uh, just slightly bigger as well, as you can see. Uh, so that's just the Champion. And um, pull forward a few more. So we've got a plasma gun here, so you can have a look at. Again, really, really nice colour scheme. Uh, really different. You don't see Nurgle in sort of like a clean white, which is something that's really, really nice. But then it's obviously got all the uh, all the pus and stuff all over it as well, just to really give it that Nurgly dirty feel as well. Again, all the multiple highlighting there and all the skin and different areas of tentacles and metal work, even on the sort of like that um, that sort of the cloth wrapped around the hilt and handle on the, on the sword at the back there, as you can see, all multiple highlighters as well through a few colours. Uh, you've got a really nice accent of turquoise across this force. Uh, that's actually from the original scheme that Steve sent us. So we've, uh, we've copied that as per his request, uh, as you can see there. So that's just a really, really nice uh, finishing touch. It adds something to that white. Otherwise, the white, I think, would be too stark uh, and just gives it a really nice uh, alternate colour. And it's nice that the plasma gun as well is in keeping with that sort of turquoise colour, as you can see there. So that's just the uh, plasma gun. Pull forward a few more just so you can have a look at these. Again, very much the same across the 20, uh, 21 Plague Marines, but obviously they're all... Really different in sort of uh, their poses and things, which is really nice. All the bone work there, multiple highlighters, as you can see, all the teeth and everything all fully picked out. Gold work has got lots of contrast and sort of points of brightness on it as well, which is really nice. So that's just another one. Uh, pull forward a selection of these, just so you can have a look while I've got them here. Again, same, all the boils, multiple highlighted with little white and yellow dots as well. Uh, all the bone work as well, as you can see, they're all sort of multiple highlighted with contrast. Uh, and then moving around here, you've got the back as well, which is really cool. Uh, really like the backpack on this one. You've got obviously pus and stuff just coming out of these vents as well, which is really cool. Uh, again, so this is just another one of the Plague Marines. And a little bit of pus there put on the uh, Plague Blade or Knife, as you can see there. Um, Pull forward this one with the uh, fancy stick grenade, or as you can see. <laughs> uh, again, really, really cool model, and uh, I, I like the pose as well. I think it's really nice. It's about to lob that grenade as well, which is cool. You've got all the tentacles and things there, all the back picked out. Again, really nice, clean, clean paint job, but obviously with the the, the dirt and grime that you'd expect on uh, on a Nurgle model as well. Someone's done a great job on this uh, army and commission. Uh, and then we'll move through to just a few more. This is probably one of the more recognisable um, models from the uh, Plague Marines that you get in the Dark Imperium. A lot of people have painted this one. Uh, again, moving around the back, same consistency throughout. All brass, metal work, and gold. Uh, you've got a really nice little flame bit as well there on the top that's all been sort of highlighted with a couple of different colours just to make it really interesting. Again, that's just uh, a bit of wood grain effect there on the uh, wood stock part of that bolt gun, or that sort of vintage bolt gun as you can see there. Uh, and then pull forward the champion. I really like this champion. I think it's quite menacing as well, <laughs> uh, as you can see here. Really, really cool uh, sort of growth he's got growing out of his pad and his head as well, and also on the pack as well. Oh, it's another one of those flesh packs, as you can see there. Again, that's all highlighted with all the teeth and everything all picked out there. And uh, really nice glow on the plasma as well, which is like a natural kind of glow. So it's not just too in your face kind of OSL, but it's got a nice sort of glow effect to it, which is really nice. And uh, and yeah, really, really good, uh, really good model. Again, just pull forward a few more. So just without boring you, seeing all the same. And again, another plasma gun guy here, as you can see. Lots of detail work, all the pus, strip and pus there between the armor plates all picked out. And again, we've gone for a really nice basing scheme on this, just so it doesn't take away or detract from the models. Uh, but you've got a great, uh, great sort of urban sort of basing style with some uh, some tufts. Uh, and that that is the twenty one Plague Marines, guys. Really, really cool. Look, I'm not going to put all of them forward because they are all very much the same. And uh, I do hope you like them. Coming up next, we've got the Elite section, so loads of Terminators and the infamous Death Shroud. So stick around for that. We're back in a second with those. If you guys like Terminators, you're going to love this section because uh, there's a, a load of them. As you can see, there's 15 normal Nurgle Terminators in this section, and then we've got three of the infamous Death Shroud at the front. Uh, so without further ado, let's have a look at these. Pull forward the uh, Death Shroud first of all, because I know a lot of you guys probably want to see those. Uh, again, the massive Man Reaper um, scythes that you can see. Here. They're literally bigger than the Terminator if you actually were to stand them vertically. Uh, you've got loads and loads of detail all picked out on the hilt there, on the uh, sort of wrapped material around that, and uh, real nice colour tarnishing on the... Uh, on the blade itself with some pus and stuff all dripping off of it as well and then you've got all the guts and everything hanging off of them uh they've got the real uh, grimacing maw here with a real wet tongue hanging out of it as well which is extremely disgusting uh and then moving around you've got obviously as you can see the great big sort of cloth at the back there cape uh all sort of attached to the armor and uh, all the areas of bone and detail work all done there as well which is really cool uh so that's just one of the uh, death shroud pull forward the other two just so you can have a look at those as well they're really cool models guys and uh again the uh, the man reapers are rich 
literally ridiculous. They are so big, it's unbelievable. Um, and again, moving around, just taking a look at the back, you've got all the chain mail areas of highlighting that have been done on these. Very, very similar on, on the consistency and quality across the whole entire army. You know, we want to make sure that, that you know you can literally take a model within the respective unit and move it to another one without any sort of uh, noticing it, it, that model from the rest of the force or anything like that. So everything is uh, very consistent uh, throughout the force here, as you can see. So it's just a one and death shroud. Pull forward another one. And again, you've got the, uh, the guts that are hanging onto the scythe as well, which is hilarious. And uh, you've got a little bit of weathering and, and on the front armor plates as well, as you can see there. And you've got this great big uh, cloak, as you can see there, all picked out. And uh, little areas of detail, little head there hanging on his, uh, on his waist as well, uh, keeping a little friend for later. And, uh, and that's just another one of the Death Shroud guys. So at the back, we've got three squads of Terminators, um, all very, very similar in the sense of loadouts and, and the, the obviously groups of five. So we'll pull forward a couple of, uh, a couple of these. And what Simon's done actually on some of the champions is, uh, is put a one of the, a couple of spare Nurglings from Mortarian's kit so that the, uh, the Terminator champs have got like little friends with them as you can see there. Uh, so again, he's just uh, swinging around some kind of ball with uh, some sort of energy coming out of it or a couple of balls there with some energy coming out of them as well. Quite a funny little uh, little creature just added to the Terminator to just give it a bit more character and that sort of comic value to, to the Nurgle as you'd expect. Uh, and then moving around here as you can see all the extra little details on these Terminators all fully picked out and uh, really nice use of that turquoise accent colour in the recesses on some parts of the armour as well just to uh to keeping keep that sort of consistent across the force there as well as you can see uh pull forward a few more just so you can have a look i'll pull forward the other champion that's got a best friend and uh, you can have a look at him as well but this is just another one with this great big sort of flail mace thing as well as you can see here a real menacing kind of weapon and uh moving around the back there as you can see all the multiple highlighting on all the gold and silvers and bronzes and also on those flames there as you can see really nice different colors in there just to really sort of give that a bit of interest uh, as you can see there so that's just another one of the terminators uh we've got one of the uh, heavier weapons in the Terminator squad there as you can see with some lovely lovely tentacles and guts all hanging out of them <laughs> and uh, some pus just dripping out there as you can see um, lots of chain mail on this guy as well Move around the back, you can see all the guts and other bits of flabby skin that sort of burst from the armour. Really, really cool Terminators these are. Uh, so that's just another one of the great models in this force. Uh, and we'll pull forward the other champion that's got a Nurgle best friend, uh, Nurgling best friend, as you can see there. Uh, just a really cool little model. Just it fits perfectly on top of the uh, on top of the uh, Terminator plate, just to, <laughs> just to give him like a little rider friend, uh, as you can see there. And lots of tentacles and also sort of horns and things all bursting from the armour, as you'd expect with a Nurgle model. Uh, and again, all his guts ripped open there, as you can see the gun multiple highlighting on the gun casing all the tentacles and, and things that are coming out of there as well as you can see nice pus and, and sort of gore on that um, cleaving sort of axe as well as you can see there which is really nice uh, so that's just the other champ uh, very similar on uh, the rest of the terminators and i'll pull forward a few more so you just you can see a bit closer again really nice use of that purple on the tabard there and uh, the colorway works really really well throughout the force with lots of different sort of colors all working together very nicely um there's obviously you've got brass gold and silver on the model so none of them sort of overpower each other and they all work really really well together uh, so that's just another one here with a heavy weapon pull forward a few more that've got sort of other areas of detail on them just we put some different colors on these sort of claw things these are quite kind of gene stealer-ish as well if you look at them uh, which is quite interesting uh, but uh, we've done those in a different color just so it makes these models stand out in the unit uh, and you literally just get a bit of a different colorway included within the um, within the squad as well which is quite nice again same consistency throughout as you can see through all of these areas of detail and highlighting work throughout the force and uh, really wet sort of pass on all the models just to give it that sort of final nerval feel um, again really clean paint job in the sense of the way it looks and the way it's finished but then obviously with the with the grime and stuff that we've actually done as well just gives it that horrid nurgle chaotic feel that you'd expect with the nurgle model uh, again so you can see there that colorway on that um that lovely sort of mace flame thing there as you can see again so that's uh, all the terminators in this force just get that to focus for you guys so you can see them again in all their glory uh up next we're going to be looking at the heavy support so we're going to be looking at the three hell brutes that will round up this army hope you liked it so far guys stick around we're back shortly Hey guys, so just to finish off this great force, we're going to have a look at the three hell brutes from the army, and uh, they do not fail to disappoint in regards to sort of detail work, um, as you'd expect. Simon's gone in and done the exact same sort of consistency throughout on the force with all of the attention to detail and sort of like the pus and also the sort of like tentacles and things. And the kit is really good for sort of making it look more Nurgle esque. Obviously, it's a, it's a standard kit for the majority of. Um, of uh, obviously the chaos sort of factions or gods, but there's loads and loads of bits that you can put on it just to really give it that sort of 
sort of like disgusting sort of nurgly sort of feel as you can see here with all the tentacles and things and they've been painted obviously to represent and keep them in keeping with the rest of the forces like for example uh, there's some holes and bits and bobs that stick out in the model where someone's gone in and put loads of pus just dripping out of those areas like the moor here on the front sort of shin guard as you can see and also dripping down the front from the mouth of the uh, the uh, marine that's obviously inside the sarcophagus uh, or what's left of him so moving around the back and you can see all the bone work is multiple highlighted there on that spine nice really sort of fleshy sort of pale pallid sort of flesh sort of color um, just to really give it that sort of you know, necrotic sort of feel to it uh, and again metal work as well multiple highlighted just to make those areas sort of stand out on the model against the white and the gold again with lots of different metals that are on there the brass the gold and the silver uh, we didn't want each one of those to sort of like be super overpowering so they're all you know they work really really well together and they're all as bright and highlighted as the others uh, as you can see there so that's just one of the uh, one of the hill brutes pull forward the other two just so you can have a quick look at them again the same consistency and quality throughout all three of these models uh, again just really really nice kit and uh, it's lasted the test of time uh, so that's just the second one and then we'll pull forward the third one just so you can have a look at him in the middle again he gets that to focus for you guys so you can have a look and again really like all of the eyes and things that are on them as well just make them stand out with a little bit of green and yellow just so they uh, they kind of in keeping with the boils and pus and things uh, again lots of really interesting colors that are used on these and the, and the scheme works really really well again so that's just the uh, three hellbrutes from the force i hope you like them uh, we're going to finish up by rounding up the video and seeing the army again in its full glory all together i hope you've liked every section of it and uh, stick around see you shortly to finish up Hey guys, so I hope you like the video and all the cool models that we've shown you from this great force that we've completed for the guys over at SM Battle Reports. Simon had a great time working on it for them. Uh, if you are not familiar with SM Battle Reports, then I do suggest you go check them out. They're a really, really cool website. They've got loads of great old school White Dwarf style written battle reports with loads of really cool pictures of all the models on the tabletop while they're playing the games. Uh, there's also some really cool exclusive sort of video content that they have on their sort of subscription side, uh, which lets you see their, their army lists and all the models in a bit more depth as well. So I do advise you go check it out. The, the link to their website can be found in the description below along with all of our social media and also the link to the Siege website. If you are interested in a commission, then please do head to our website and complete a contact form. Uh, just fill in all the details on there, fire that through to us and we'll come back to you as soon as possible and get the ball rolling for you and your commission. Uh, thanks again for watching the video guys. We really appreciate it and if you can give us a quick like or subscribe we really would appreciate it hope you liked it see you guys on the next one and take care bye bye